told Angelo, the architect, that we would like to have a mosque that had the traditional elements of a mosque, but that the finish itself and the design of it needed to be contemporary, new and different. Entrenched in the brief was this sense that we needed to create something for the future, in a sense that when people in a thousand years' time look back, it will still be here, casting its shadow over our time as a time that was interested in those people that we don't even know, those people that are yet unborn. We wanted it to be a sculpted form, a form that took to the light, and then, strangely, a form that took to the darkness. Too many people were talking about the deflections in concrete. Too many people were talking about very bad cracking. There were engineers that were scared off, but I think in this context, we would need to use a product such as Invisia to enable the softness of the material to emerge from the palette and such that it's a mutable form. And concrete always shrinks a lot, so we've always been conscious of where the shrinkages are going to be and where the cracks are going to be. And Invisia does offer you a solution to that. Although we still expect minor hairline cracks, uh, they're able to be, let's say, mitigated or reduced by a good product such as Invisia. It's a different finish for a mosque. Uh, definitely, I think most people are used to mosques being built with bricks and mortar and uh, painted uh, and to have a mosque that is just uh, made of concrete and that's the final finish is unique. The Mechanis mini domes uh, on these two ceilings inside the mosque, that is also unique. Uh, it is a traditional element because uh, Mechanis, the mini dome itself, is an Arab Islamic architectural feature but also now the added element is the uh, golden calligraphy in those mini domes and how the light will play with that. So that's something that we'll still need to tweak, uh, as it were, to, to get the best outcome. We obviously use Invisia now in most projects because they are uh, projects that require this level of intention. Um, I don't want to move backwards. Um, and so what we want to do is enable the next phase of our work to be informed with better and better products and better and better materials and better and better detailing, building upon what we've learned. And so it would be going backwards to use more conventional concrete, I would say. And there's a place for that, but not in the field of great architecture.